just as a matter of background, Bevy Cooney was a nightclub promoter and owner. Uh, he owned the Viper Room, which was a famous club in L.A., and he got involved in these financial deals. Um, it ended up he was charged and convicted, uh, and, and of course now Devin Archer has been convicted, uh, and Bevin Cooney is the only one that went to jail, uh, and he's very frustrated. I mean, he admits that, that he made mistakes, uh, but he feels like Devin Archer and Hunter Biden got off scot-free because of their political connections. And that's why he wanted to share these emails with me uh, to uh, clear the record and demonstrate the widespread corruption that Hunter Biden was engaged in. All right. A little bit of background. You wrote the book Secret Empires. You were the first to tell us about Burisma and the billion dollar deal with the Bank of China, which became one point five billion dollars. Uh, so the two business partners of Hunter are convicted. One's in jail. One's about to be sentenced to jail. Now the one in jail gives you access to his private email account, and you've been able to confirm that these through these emails what. Uh, a number of things. And just to be clear, Sean, we have actually been granted access to his account. So we're not looking at printouts. This is not secondhand. We go into his Gmail account with his written approval. He gave us the password. Uh, and what those emails show, the 26,000 show, we're working our way through them, is a wide net of, of using uh, the Biden name, using access to the White House, uh, serving uh, Hunter serving as the pipeline to the administration as a means to help their clients and gain clients. Uh, the names that come up in this are the Chinese, the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Kazakhs. It's a veritable United Nations of corruption. Uh, and what it demonstrates is that Joe Biden, as vice president of the United States, was a center point. It was almost the planet around which these business activities uh, moved.